Hey guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company, and as you can tell by the title, I have quite the haul for you, like a bunch of hauls into one. So I have been really deeply into making and creating, and I want to show you, this is, um, I don't think I showed you all this one last time, the little bat guy came out really cute, uh, and that's the, the um, sort of the tinsel behind him. So that's one of them. Um, the eyeball is a little bit more simple, but there's the eyeball coming along. So there's, you know, there's some more in here and I've just been kind of working <laughs> on all of them and, and looking for additional pieces. Um, it, it's interesting. Sometimes I don't always see what I do as art until I realize I'm, you know, I'm working on a piece and I'm trying to put the right pieces together and you know, I can, I can call that art. I think it is. I think anyone who, you know, when you're doing this, you're going to find stuff. But so I went to a bunch of Dollar Trees. I went to five Dollar Trees this weekend looking for a very specific piece that was, that had like the tinsel in it because it had the green tinsel to match the eyeball. And I really wanted to use that on the piece. And I was really excited to find that. Well, I can't find it. I had seen it in somebody's haul. I can't find it. But I found a lot of other things. I didn't mean to. I went in with one thing. I wanted to get one thing. But I've got to show you what I found because some of this I had not seen elsewhere and I was excited to find it. And I didn't find any of these things all at one. I literally had to go to all five that were the closest to me, which is, you know, is what it is. So I did pick up some of these um, pipe cleaners. Um, I do like this this kind of this green and um, black. And I do think that it will go. I did buy another. Well, we, I'll show you. But I, I got another set of my eyeballs. So, so I wanted to make another one of those. And then I got the purple. And this one's sort of like a green and an iridescent. And I found an orange. Um, I still cannot find orange cray paper. But I did have a Timu haul come in yesterday, which I'll be showing later on this week. Oh, my God, a piece of hair is sticking straight up back there, don't I? That's just ridiculous. Um, so, uh, so I found those things. And then um, I was at one. I got really lucky with certain things. So I had actually seen this one elsewhere. And I'm going to try this one behind the eyeball when I do the next eyeball. Uh, because I think that this might come out really well. I like that green with it. Let's see. Let's do that. I kind of like that green with it. Um, so I was thinking about stretching it across the whole rosette because the rosettes are pretty big. And someone, a couple of you have asked uh, for a full tutorial. Uh, and I guess what, you know, maybe uh, what I'll probably do is make one. Um, and some people also asked how big these, these were. So the paper... This one, sorry, I know I digress. This is about six inches. So I cut these pieces of the book um, to approximately, um, golly, I want to say, no, they were three inches by, I'm trying, uh, about eight inches. So I put, the, there are four pages here. I also have the second half of that page, which is going to make a much smaller one. That one's about two inches. So I'll be making some two inch ones so I can have small, uh, small and large or yeah, at, at my show. Um, but it does take about four of those pieces to make this. So I would glue two together. I would accordion. I would glue, glue do two other together. I would accordion them. And then I would put the whole thing together and put it in my, you know, and get them going. So that was that one. Um, I found this cool confetti, um, kind of confetti glitter, and I'm going to use some of that, especially this glitter, because um, I wanted one more thing. I kind of like the simplicity of this guy, but I want to put the glitter around the edges. I decided to do that. Can't believe I'm getting into glitter. I just, and my husband is so supportive. He always, he never wanted glitter, but he's like, yeah, I see why you really do need it with these. So now he's very supportive of it. He's such a good guy. Um, and I, I did find this one, which I had not found before, the one with the silver and gold. Um, so I was excited to find this one uh, at, 
at the uh, Dollar Tree. And then I found these. I was super excited. I think I saw these in early haul. And I looked for them before, like, I don't know, a month or two ago uh, and could not find them anywhere. And to find them was was quite something. So I bought, um, these are for the little um, vignettes that I do or the assemblages. Some people call them assemblages. And, uh, and I'm really excited to use some of these. I have a, a couple of things I really wanted to do. So I bought two packs of those for $1.25. This is very, um, so I think I mentioned that, but these are very Tim Holtz, very Tim Holtz. I think that his are a little bit smaller, but honestly, this is an amazing dupe for Tim Holtz. Um, and then I'm uh, also, well, let's see, there's another, I did find the smaller Halloween bottles. These are also for the assemblages. And then I will be doing some Christmas ones because I'm really enjoying doing this along with everything else that I do because I am insane like that. Um, and I found some of these pieces that I will probably do a little bit of paint, um, try to fix some of the paint on them because they're not all sort of the best paint jobs, but they're pretty cute. And for $1.25, I thought these, were, look how funny that is. This box was actually attached like that. Um, but I really did like this one. So I'm gonna clean them up a little bit um, and make them a little bit more special before I put them on the assemblages. And there's that one. This one's tied. Let me have to cut this one open. I'm just gonna cut this bag open. I did not mean to shut it so hard. Shut it hard, I check. Um, Okay, so I did get some other little bottles. Really was excited to find those. And then um, I got a little bit of this, uh, the tool. Now I will say this was just because it was convenient and I was at Dollar Tree and I saw the tool and I was like, I, don't, I know I don't need a whole lot of it, but it's very expensive to buy it this way. I mean, the truth is tools not expensive. If you buy a whole yard of it, it's not expensive. I didn't need a whole lot of it. So um, I will, you know, if you're doing a lot of these, I wouldn't buy it at Dollar Tree. I'm just saying. Um, but for $1.25, I just thought it was easy. The convenience of it was was worth it for me. Um, I also bought one of these little palette pieces. I have a plan to use this in one of the assemblages. And I needed some of this. And I'll tell you, it's because one of you lovely ladies suggested that I take that cool mug and do an assemblage on top of it. And I thought, that's a really good idea. Uh, so I'm going to um, add to that. And for some of the background on some of the different ones that I'm working on. So right now I've got the assemblages, I'm doing the postcard pieces, um, and I've got this one and that's really going to be my entire Halloween line and I'm going to do some Christmas ones similar to it so that's one of the reasons why I thought you know um, especially getting some of the bigger pieces like a bunch of the the postcard backgrounds um, I did grab these little guys just because some of the um, some of the little bottles of glitter or some of the bottles of glitter if I have these some of the glitter did not come in a bottle it comes in like a little plastic envelope or a little envelopey thing bad ones anyway so I needed something to put that into because I want to be able to see it but I don't want it everywhere um and thank you for the suggestion of using a lint roller to get up the glitter off of my table that is brilliant it is brilliant so um thank you thank you for that suggestion that was just amazing um, all right, so I want to show you these. I actually bought a set of these last year, and I love them. And so I picked up another set because I want to use the heads in a bigger piece. Um, so this one's pretty cute, you know, with the welcome, but I'm taking the head off. <laughs> Just sounds terrible, doesn't it? So I'm going to take the head off of this one. Um, it's very cute. I want to do a whole cool little Halloween thing. And this one, again, I'm taking the head off. Um, I'll be using the the big Dollar Tree rounds, the wooden rounds and painting those, doing something on the background and then using these um, to hang uh, because I want to fancy them up more. And quite frankly, these and, and this guy, isn't he cute? Um, and I'll be adding some to these. So I like, I do like changing them up, but 
Um, but these are meant to go in the ground and, and I have had these before. And of course, this is not intended for outside. And so I don't know why they do it like this because um, it'll just be destroyed the first dew. The first morning dew you have, that's, that's gone. Um, it'll just wilt, just wilt. So there's that one. Okay, I have to show you these. I am so excited about these. I never, I didn't see anyone. I have not seen any shows where someone showed these. Look at these. Dollar Tree, a dollar twenty-five. Look at that great guy. So when, so thinking about the assemblages, I actually really like the other mug. But look at that one. Have you guys seen these? Dollar Tree, a dollar twenty-five. I was, I was, I mean, just like the tile, I was done with Dollar Tree. They're, they're raising their prices and they're doing all of these things. And then they come along and give us this really cool stuff. And I'm like, Dollar Tree, what are you doing to me? You know, I was done. I was done. I think I said that one more, one time before this summer. And then, and then I hadn't said anything else really cool. And I was like, oh, I'm done again. And they keep pulling me back in. They keep pulling me back in. It's so unfair. Um, so, let me get that out of the way. So, I also found, this was very exciting, because I was looking online, and I'm going to get some of the Mod Podge um, glitter. The Mod Podge has a glitter Mod Podge. Um, so, I'm going, and I think I actually have some of it somewhere. Um, but I'm going to get some more of that to use on some of these whatever, uh, to get to use on some of these pieces. And um, it's uh, particularly some of the, the edges. I'm thinking that if I use it, it can be very light, like hard to see the glitter in it. But I'm going to like do several coats of it on the edges. And I'm hoping that that will make a difference. And I might do it with some of the small ones I'm going to make and try doing the Mod Podge way before I do the fold. Let's see. We'll see. I mean, I've got some testing to do, um, but I but to help me along the way, I found these at Dollar Tree. So this one is the orange, and I found the. Um, I think this is supposed to. I don't know whether it's supposed to be black or whether. I think this is supposed to be silver. Um, and I'm sure, and I'm pretty sure it comes from Canada, it because it's written in French. So let's see if it says where it's coming from. Fabric. It says it's made in China. Okay, so it's made in China. Um, but it's written in French. And then the gold and purple. And I they may have had more, but I really felt like these were the only ones that I might be using with what I'm doing right now. I th think... Is this this one? Yeah, that one's orange. I think they had red. But I was looking at the red and I was thinking, I'm not really ready for that one. I don't need it for the Halloween stuff. And um, so... And then I found some fabric, and this fabric is probably old or older, but I don't remember seeing it in the past. Then again, you know me. I mean, I could have seen it and shown you and not remember. But I really liked this little woodland. Isn't that cute? I think that little woodland scene is very sweet. Um, and then this one. Isn't that pretty? That goes with so much. I have a similar one that I have purchased in the past from Joann's. Um, it's not quite as busy it's, and it's more muted, um, but I really like that. And I think that will go well with this. So I found this strawberry one. Have you guys seen these? Let me know in the comments if you've seen seen these, because I haven't. I mean, I'm, it seems to me like it must have been a summer series. Isn't that strawberry one adorable? So cute. And then this last one, I just can't remember whether I whether I found this one in the past. Um, I think this is one of the ones I've been looking for forever. And they only had one of this. So that's that one. And then I did pick up some of these 
little skelly skeletons, even though, look how bad the, the thing is here. I thought this looks more alien, so I'm going to go with the whole alien feel for it. Um, I did get some of the little buckets to go into the assemblages. I thought that would be really cute. What I want to do is put a little bit of the foam in there and maybe some little fake candy on the top of it and just do a little candy bucket next to a little, little character. Um, I picked up these rings and I was hoping that there was a little spider in there and I think they're all bats but that could be really cute that one's missing a piece okay so here's the bat and the plan is to cut off the back right I can't get it to focus today it's really weird I should be able to get it to focus when I do that huh okay so it's being stubborn today, but these are small enough that they could cover some holes on some of the pieces that I use. So um, I got the bats for that, picked up the, the regular uh, cobwebs uh, with the point, just the same thing that, that I was doing with the other one. I think I'm going to pull some of the cobwebs, a little bit of them over the top of one of the um, rosettes. I thought that would be kind of cool. And I found the tiny bottles. I really got into the bottles. Um, I did pick up a little bit of the wood glue to see if that would also fill the hole because I don't always want to put something on top. It's not always workable to put something on top of the hole. So if I can find a way to fill the hole from the back or from the front, just to fill the hole and then be able to do something else with it, that would be helpful. Oh, that's funny. I didn't realize I had already grabbed one of those, but I think it'll be fine. And I got the tall ones and then and then I did pick up a couple of these big bottles of glitter glue um, these are just meant to be um, for accent, um, accents and pieces so I'm, I got that one and I got the gold one I imagine that the stoppers on these, they're, they're gonna clog a lot. Um, there's another little bit of tool that I picked up, these pieces. And I got some of the pumpkins. I think that's my second batch of pumpkins. And then, that's, that's the, this is about the end of the Dollar Tree stuff. <laughs> I'll show you the rest. Um, and then I got this cone piece because I want to make some of those cones um, and we'll see if I get to them this time around. I'm trying to, there's so much going on, <laughs> but I would love to make some of the Halloween cones, candy cones, um, and the Christmas ones. And then I, I just dropped it. Then I decided to try my hand at a dupe. So one second, please. Let me just, let me just get this guy. Okay. Sorry about that. I believe that's little Brent trying to say hello back there. Do you see those little hands coming up? Okay. Hello, honey. Floor hello. is shaking. Say hello. I say hello. <laughs> He's a nut. So I saw this. I think it was Pottery Barn. I want to say it's Pottery Barn. Where they had this clutch and inside was a little ghost. I mean, really simple, but really pretty. And I thought, why can't I take this dollar 25 one and this and then create a little you know add use a little um jigger little little bit of uh sticks or whatever on the inside and make the ghost figure um i'm gonna try that i'm really interested to see if that you know i think it should work out just fine and there you have one of the pottery barns and i think that they use the oh, bigger one of that Okay, so that was Dollar Tree. Then I have been looking for the, like the moss, the, the peat moss to use on the um, uh, assemblages. And uh, it was funny because I've been in Dollar Tree, cannot find them in the Dollar Tree, but I know Dollar Tree used to have them. And Kate said she was looking and she couldn't find them in hers either. Um, but so I went and I bought a pack from Walmart and I think it was like $3. Um, and then it gets everywhere. Um, I'm going to keep it in this bag because it literally 
is getting over everything. And put that right back in that bag. Um, so I got that, and then for a dollar, I picked up these little rings so I could cut the ring part off and use the spider on some of the um, those holes for the assemblages. Then I found this, and I thought, this is super cool. And I think I'm gonna use it in the background of some of the different things that I'm making. I just really like the idea. I think it's a tad big, but we'll see how it works out. So yeah, I'm not gonna use it as a box. I'm going to, when do I ever use something you ask what it's intended to be used as? And I found these cute. These were also at Walmart, um, 97 cents. And I really like these. I think these are really cute for a little bit of Mod Podging some, some things. If I get to that for this, this time around. And then I've been, I've been busy. You can see I'm feeling, I'm back to myself. And, sorry, I'm reaching. And I have been busy. So um, I also did a quick little run into Hobby Lobby. And I want to show you why, because I had already purchased this for $1.25. And I was in Hobby Lobby and I saw this, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're even bigger than this one for $4.99. So this is a much better deal if you're going to use that much. And again, the, the, the bright thing about Dollar Tree is that you don't have to buy big amounts. So if you don't want to make a whole bunch, if you just want to make one or two things, um, you know, then you don't, you don't have to buy sort of the bulky, all of it type stuff. And I do like that. So I will, you know, there's a bonus there. Um, I did buy this cute little thing full. This was in their autumn harvest stuff. So it was 40% off of $7.49. Uh, but these little pumpkins are the perfect size for some of the stuff that I'm working on. And I kept looking for some small ones. Um, and to that end, I also bought this one. These are just scatter. This is all just scatter and filler. But I love these tiny white pumpkins. Um, I thought those are perfect for what I'm working on. I thought this. These napkins are fabulous. And quite frankly, I'll use a few for my Mod Podge and then we'll use the rest. So they will not, they will not be wasted. Um, but I probably won't, you know, we'll just use them for whatever. You can see I've got a, I've got a box up here where I have to keep my receipts. Um, and then I got this, this thing of sticks. Um, this is just called natural brush, but I really want this for some of the winter pieces I'm going to be working on. And I just thought this is great. It's kind of ready to go. It has a nice tree like look to it. Um, and uh, it was 50% off because it's part of their Christmas. So it was two fifty. And then I got these cute deer. They were also 50% off. Um, I'm going to uh, use these in some of the assemblages. Certainly, they're definitely going to be getting a bow or something. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep that uh, Christmas stuff together. Okay, and the final place I went. So you have four, four halls in one. Let me just move up again and say hi. Up close and personal. Oh, that's, that's not good. I just knocked over my box of um, rosettes. So then the final store I went to was Dollar General. And you all know that I, I am a Dollar General convert for some things. I think they have some really great items and they're cheaper than Dollar Tree. Um, look at these guys. They are literally meant to pop. They just pop. They're, they're very 3D. Um, so I thought those would be really cute. I don't have a plan for those yet, but Look at that. So I've got the uh, the spiders and the skulls and the bats. I I think these are really cool, and I I have some thoughts about what I want to do with these. Um, and again, I don't know if I'll get to it. You know, this is it's. I still have a full week of September left before October starts, but you know, there's a lot going on. <laughs> there, there's a lot going on. Okay, so then, so what else Halloween-y did I find? Um, I picked up this one. Um, it was $3, but 
but these little guys light up and I just thought this was really cute. So I haven't decided what's happening with that. It might be part of the decoration over here. Might end up on the black wall behind me. Um, I found that one. Uh, I liked, although I had bought a, the black one, I found the white, the white kind of creepy, paper, creepy fabric-y stuff. Um, I did get, and I already had spider web, but we also use it here in the house to decorate. So I did buy this thing of spider webs because this was only a dollar as opposed to the dollar 25. And then let's see, I did pick up this one ribbon because I love it. I love, I just love the simplicity of it. I love the polka dots and the orange and black, uh, just like what, what I was looking for with the, when I did the bees, I just really think that this is, this is just really nice and it goes so well with my Halloween themes. So I wish I could find that in paper and, you know, in fabric and everything. I think I can find it in fabric, but I would love to find it just in paper. Just a simple, just exactly this, those exact colors. Mwah! Crack myself up. Um, and then I found this. Now you all know that I bought those books because I wanted to do some assemblages in the um the fake books from dollar tree but look what they had a <laughs> dollar general and this one was just a dollar this was their extra small now they have different sizes um and they're the, the books are different for the different sizes but they are they are different prices so the bigger the book the more expensive it becomes um or the higher the price they're not terribly expensive i think the biggest one was three dollars they're not terribly expensive um and they open up. Um, and I will say I liked this one probably better than the dollar. I like the ones that I saw at Dollar General better than the ones at Dollar Tree because they're just more fun and simple. So instead of getting into sort of the heavy magic stuff, it's just really fun and simple. And I really like that. So I'm excited to do one of those. And it's pink. And it can't go wrong. Pink. Um, and and then I lucked into, I think it was a 50% off sale of all of like their summer and spring stuff. And I found this, which was super fun. So I just think that's fun. I'll take it to school and, uh, and I will use it for my, you know, for my students, probably like the first day of school. Um, and maybe one of the school events that we have, we'll do like a little thing. So I just thought that was fun for them um to do and I found these cute now I'm not gonna wear these they're a little they're I mean you all know I now wear big earrings but these are pretty big and they're supposed to light up let's just make them light up but I thought if I take the earring backing off maybe I could use this little light up guy in an assemblage okay so I think that you're supposed to poke It does work. Oh my goodness. Here, let me see if I can make it a little bit darker in here. Okay. So there's a little button right there and you have to be able to get into it, which is by the way, not an easy feat. Okay, so those turn off and on. I think those are really cute. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to uh, clip off the top and turn those into part of one of the assemblages and I love that it lights up. Okay, so here's some more, let's see. Um, so the most of the rest of this was 50% off. So I just had a blast. This was originally a dollar, it was 50 cents. And I'm going to turn this into part of the assemblage. I'm just gonna add a piece that sticks out a little bit further here, repaint this, and then, you know, as my husband likes to say, jobs are good in. So this one was also 50 cents. I like that it already had the black roof. So I might Mod Podge something on the background and then turn that into one. This one I like, it's just simple so I can do whatever with it. And again, these were all 50 cents. So I bought, I think five of them. Yeah, I guess I did. I thought about, no, I think about six of them. I bought two of each roof. So two black, yeah. Two black, two of the green, because I like that green for um, for Christmas. 
um, especially like a 1950s Christmas. So we got those. Then for the assemblages, isn't that cute? And again, this was 50 cents. So I'm gonna fill it with little packages and put uh, one of my little flat characters next to it, make it kind of pop out. I just thought these were so cute. I'll put a bow on it. So I bought uh, just, I think, two of those. I was trying not to go over the top, which is very difficult for me. Um, so I bought two, ooh, don't fall, they're all falling. Stop falling. There we go. It's all piled in front of me. You should see how close it's going to the camera. Um, and then, uh, I bought these actually only because we're, uh, we're doing a, um, thing right now with the boy who harnessed the wind. I should have bought more of these. Um, but I'm thinking about turning these into like little awards for my students. Um, okay. And then for those of you who remember, we do the Christmas stocking will be coming up, you know, before you know it. So I found some really cute things for the Christmas stocking. Um, look how cute those are. So you got canned goods. Um, let's see, canned goods, snacks, dry goods. I think the other one says baking. But on the back of each one, it's plain, and you can write directly on it, and you can put it, you can make it into whatever you want. And I thought those were really cute. Um, so I like those. I got two of those for the stocking. I really like this. I think this one, I probably will keep this one. So, and again, 50 cents. Um, I thought this one was really fun. This is a write on board, so you got your little to do board. It's just metal. Um, so I thought that way you can hang it. Probably what I would do is put some magnets on the back of it so you can put it. I like the idea of being able to put it up somewhere. So I got, you know, two of those. Um, I thought this was cute, the market one. We have a nice big pantry, and I'm going to put it on the door of the pantry. Um, because uh, some of my siblings have. Um, um, grandchildren. I do not yet, but my siblings have grandchildren. I thought this would be a nice thing to include. Just a little something for them to pull out for their grandkids. And good gracious, is that everything? I didn't leave anything, did I? Okay, good. Whew, almost there. And then I bought three of these refrigerator magnet sets believe, family, love, laugh, celebrate, fun, imagine, birthday, joy, give, thanks, create, commitment, forever, always beautiful, us, future, lifetime, yum, happy, perfect, and inspire. And I just thought these were really cute. I liked the idea of doing those little words on there. You can do a little haiku, <laughs> but I just thought they were fun. And, you know, certainly if you're going to put an invitation or there's a birthday party coming up and you can pinpoint that up there. Um, also, I think, I think that they'll work with this. These are magnets and this is just a metallic dry erase board. So I should be able to, it can't go through the, this is pretty thick cardboard, um, but you could put them right on your to-do list and just add in, you know, the birthday or the celebrate or family get together, whatever it might be. So Oh, I did that in record time. How was that? I was moving pretty fast. I know, but um, but I'm super excited about, uh, you know, I, I found a lot of really good pieces and uh, and I am getting to work, um, getting some of this stuff, uh, some more of this done. I've got the first, I've got a show this weekend. Um, so it's going to be a busy, busy week for me. And I'll be making what I may do uh, about the rosettes. I may not show you like actually making the rosette um, because I think I did that in a previous one. I might just do a ra do a video where I just am working on the rosettes and, you know, and I have you guys along for the ride. What do you think? Would you be interested in that and watching just kind of as I'm putting the different ones together? It's really, um, it does take a while because there's a whole artistic process going into it as I try to think and, and figure out what it is I want to do with them. Uh, but I, I do have a pretty good idea. You know, I'm missing a bag. I just realized I am missing a Dollar Tree bag because I bought, um, um, I, and I, it's not in here right now, but I'll find it later and, and try to show you when I do the, the videos. I bought some of the ribbons 
from Dollar Tree and they're they're kind of bunchy um, with big loops. Not the normal ribbon, ones that have like a lot of loops in them because I'm gonna flatten them and put some of these, um, uh, put them on top of the rosette and then put some of the, like the specialty piece on top of that. And I was thinking that that would look really cool. So I'm sorry I can't show you. I can't believe I'm missing a bag or two. I knew there was more. I knew there was more. But I'll show you next time. How's that? You guys are great. Thanks so much. I really love doing these videos with you guys. And I know I'm, I have gotten way behind in answering comments and, um, and reaching back out to everybody. And I'm so sorry, you know, with the sickness and, you know, getting back up in the, <laughs> in the school. Um, but I read every single one of them. Every single one of them. I read them in real time. And you guys are amazing. I really appreciate it. And for, you know, for, for some of you guys out there who are watching, but you haven't subscribed, you know, come on and subscribe so you can, you know, be the first ones to see when something new comes out and you can hang out with us some more. That's all I've got for today. I really, again, I appreciate you guys so much. I will see you next time. Cheers.